There are three aspects. I don't have a drawing board, but you can draw a triangle in your notes. And on the bottom of the triangle, you can put neuromuscular skeletal. Now, let me tell you something about if you want to know what makes you sick. If you fall and you bump yourself, that's the start. Take those little things more seriously than you do. I got a little headache. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have toxicity problem. Well, I got my blood pressure's high. No, you don't. You have inflammation of the whole circulatory system. Oh, I'm a diabetic. No, you're not. Your pancreas is inflamed. See, so in the Eastern way of looking at your health, it looks, it looks, don't worry about that. It looks different because you look at life differently. So a little, oh, I just twisted my ankle. Take that very seriously because the ankle leads to the knee. Not on the same side as that you twisted the ankle, but usually on the opposite side. Why? Because you use it more on the other side. So now it's inflamed even though you twisted your ankle on the right foot. My teacher always said, look on the left foot. And if it's down there, look up here. So it's called the lovered brother relationship. The cranial bones up here, that's why we check these little babies when they're born that are C-section. See, we, we, we have a look and we just check the cranial bones and we can feel, we can feel after 31 years. I delivered my own children. My father said, what stuff are you on, boy? You got to come back to Africa. You got to stop taking that stuff. I go, chill out, man. Chill out. Susan's still having the baby. I'm just catcher. I'm just the catcher. Take it easy, man. Well, go to the hospital. Go to those people that really know. Well, I don't want to do that because more babies die in the hospital than die out of the hospital. So I'm kind of not into that game. So we had our babies at home. And you can do amazing things. You know, health is quite easy. It's complicated, but it's quite simple. But it's complicated. You get a little headache. What time did you have the headache? Did you have it in the morning or the afternoon? This body works in cycles. And you know that you're not in control of your body. Do you know that? You have to like ride with it. You've got to love your body. Touch your heart and say, I love myself. It's the hardest thing to say, by the way. It's the hardest thing to say is to accept your own frailty. So everybody say, I, I like myself. If you can't say I love, that'll be a little louder. Let's hear it. I, love I like myself. I like myself. See, in our office, we say, Dr. Fred loves himself, but not all the patients like him. <laughs> you see, I learned that many years ago. They don't all like me because I go, we're going to do this, this, and this. Here's the prescription. Do so many exercises. Go for a walk. Difficult stuff, right? Go for a walk. How long have you been walking for? All my life. We've got a little smart sphincter here. You know. <laughs> Be careful that thing don't shut us. So, I'm going to shut you down. I'm doing that. I'll tell you, you're in the greatest office. I'm known as the rhino. You got one of those books there? I'll show them a rhino. And, uh, and, uh, came across this book, a patient of mine came in and said, you look like a rhinoceros success. Uh, I bought the rights to this whole bloody book. So, and uh, the rhinoceros, you know, you know, we're in trouble, you know that. And our company helps the rhinos. There have been more rhinos slaughtered this year in the first three months than in recorded history. It's been the worst recorded slaughter. You know what they do? They take the punga and they just chop the Achilles tendon. That's all they do. So the, 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 the rhino's done. It's done. So he goes, buckles on his knees. They come, they cut it off. They can't come because the horn's moving. So, but they've got the rhino now. They chop it off and they leave him to die. And because China is so prosperous, and America's buying Chinese like crazy. We always say at our training, just buy a little American once in a while. You know, just $65 and we change this whole economy. Do you know that? 
$65. If you bought $65 this year, uh, American, you change this whole economy. That's a fact, because my undergraduate D was in economics. And uh, my father kind of pushed me around a little bit. I don't know if you had a dad like that, but I went to boarding school. I wasn't a little softy like Dr. Troy. He's crying here like, <laughs> what are you talking about? I went to boarding school at 12 years old, okay? Get over your mother, all right? <laughs> I'm your roommate now. <laughs> Get over it, baby. <laughs> 12 years old. I want my mommy. That first night, I'll never forget as long as I live. The guys were crying and I go, listen, your mom ain't coming, okay? <laughs> I want my mommy. Oh, ain't coming. A housemaster is one of the greatest men in the world. Professor Tinky Haynes, you can go on the website and check him out. Rondebosch Boys High. And uh, in fact, on the poster, you'll see that it says Rondebosch Boys because I'm very proud of Rondebosch. See, our schools were a lot of tradition in South Africa uh, and you're taught Latin and still today. And there's discipline. And so the first rule in health is discipline. So we do a thing called the five and two. Just remember, write that down. You don't listen to anything else I say. Five and two. Five days on, two days off. You can choose any two days. You cannot go seven and oh. Even the Lord didn't go seven and oh. Are you out of your mind? Okay, I'm never going to do that again, ever. Well, don't be lying to us now. You're going to do it. Just don't beat yourself up for seven. He went six and one, and my wife found that out to be a little stressful in modern society. So let's go six, five, and two. And we found out we could raise children five and two real easy because we'd go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, they'd go to their friend's house and they'd have junk. Saturday, they'd go and play soccer and then they'd go to their friend's house and they'd eat Cheez-Its. What's a Cheez-It? Is it cheese? No. Is it an, an it? Yes. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's not food, for sure. It's not delicious. It's just for your tongue right there. So lick them and throw them away. <laughs> okay? you, won't, you won't get sick on them then. But it's not food. So I don't know how you're convincing me that they're food. Because you're actually, you're, the, the first rule in health is self-respect. The first rule in health is self-respect. You won't beat yourself up. You won't eat junk. It's okay to go for junk. It's okay. We live in, you're going to do it. The kids are playing soccer and it's Saturday and they've got three games on Saturday. You're going to go and get an in and out burger. Do you know who, who's had an in and out burger? Okay, next time, has, have you had a protein burger from in and out That's without the bun. We're not asking you. <laughs> If we asked for you, we'd, all, we'd say, stand up and give us a presentation. It's my time. Okay, so. I want you to know that I, I raised my kids. My kid was 12 years old and didn't know what a Twinkies was. What's a Twinkie? It's a waste of time, man. Just don't eat it, please. Listen, here's a secret to health. Here's a secret. Only buy on the outside of the aisle. Never go down the middle. You go down the middle, you're done. Now. Are you going to get some tomatoes down the middle in a can if you're going to make spaghetti? Well, yeah, if you can, you can. Or you could go and get some tomatoes. But most people that come to me in Glendale, Arizona, they're going to buy a can of, and it's okay. It's okay. Five and two. See, five and two. Just remember that. Just not seven and oh. People who go seven and oh, binge. So you lose diet, but those people don't reward themselves. Chocolate. Is that a good thing to do? Yeah, yeah. Dark chocolate. Write it down. You can have some morning in the morning with some nice tea. Here, a little spring dragon tea. Going to feed you, feed your kidneys. If any times you're in craving, she likes junk food. You know why? Her kidneys are starved. You just seep it in and then to sweeten it up a little bit, you have some goji berries and they are anti-aging. Goji, these are the greatest goji berries. I'll get you a little taste if you're interested. 
And then you give them to your kids and they go to school and this little one, he'll just chomp them down before even, before the break. He'll just And then you put in, now this is, this is careful, we're in Oregon now. Yeah, same, same, same thing, same. <laughs> same kind of people. <laughs> Little subluxated, some of them up here. Mushroom, reishi mushroom. There's a rule in old healing that says, if it stands on one leg, eat it. Mushrooms have one stalk. If it stands on two legs, be careful. If it stands on four legs, be real careful. So anything, mushrooms stand on one stool, right? So you put a little mushroom, you wouldn't believe I'm saying mushrooms? I know some of you in this, when I was raised, you know, you were in high school with me. I know what you're thinking. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of feeding the essence. There's certain rain, there's a circle to this life. There's a circle. We'll get to the circle later on. And, and here, here we go. The triangle of health, the triune of life. The first one is your neuromuscular skeletal system. I told you, you get that little twist in the ankle. We know that if you get a little shoulder problem, anybody had a shoulder? A lot of frozen shoulders. And Dr. Troy is amazing at frozen shoulders because he knows the nerve that goes to the shoulder isn't in the shoulder. It actually goes to the occiput right here called the spinal accessory nerve. So you adjust that, then you adjust the shoulder, bow, you got it. But if you don't set this, you go, the therapist does whatever, massages, pushes this, pushes that, and, and, and the next day it's stiff again. And as you get older, you need to be flexible, see? That's how you want to be. That's from the Taoist philosophy, see? And this philosophy is that the inner being has to blossom. But if you don't have any juice to blossom, how are you going to blossom? So the second thing we, which we don't cover in our office, uh, Dr. Croy, Troy and his little crying little thing, yeah, whatever. That's this endocrine system. The endocrine system. There are how many, how many endocrine glands? Seven. Thank God there's one doctor in the house. Seven. Uh, we always remember it. Our patients do. Uh, it's called Snow White and the Seven endocrine glands the endocrine that's the real story of Snow White Snow White went to sleep under stress she was under stress by the fairy do I have to teach you everything the stepmother man the monkey in the head is the stepmother got it and she says I'm fairer than you see but the purity of the inner being. That's the magic. That's the magic. See? Now you had to have learned one thing already. What did you learn? Five and two? What else did you learn already? Respect yourself. Huh? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. You go to uh, World Market. They got a great square chocolate. You chump it off. And I left mine at home because I like. And you suck on the chocolate. You don't. <laughs> not like a horse, like a mm, mm, mm. Nah, -uh. you suck on it and let it just seep in through the gums. Ho ho! Everybody go, ho ho! That's what I'm saying. We're going to get better. We're going to get better. The third tree, the third treasure, we call it, is the mineral kingdom. That's where this Corella comes in. I don't know if you know it, but that's Okayaka San is welcome to our home. That is our home. Whether you like it or not, that's our home. I don't know where you're going. Um, I'm a, a retired altar boy. And uh, <laughs> okay, uh, that's enough said of that. <laughs> if Jesus was crucified when he was the son of man and he moved in to the heavens, he hasn't left our cosmos yet. That's at traveling at the speed of light. If his spirit shot out to the heavens. So then where is the heaven, the kingdom of heaven? It is within. 
the kingdom of heaven is within. Seek ye first the kingdom within. Well, that's where the, that's where the fight is. The fight's within. But you got to get these little dwarfs. See, this. Is your spouse happy? The one you live with, is, is that, are, are you happy? Do you wake up in the morning going, Woo, let's go, baby. Is he happy? He is happy. You can see it on his face. Who wakes up and goes, Oh, God. <laughs> he has a mineral deficiency. I'll balance your minerals and you will pop out of bed like you cannot. You go, whoa, let's go. And you go, what the hell happened? You'll scare your spouse. You can't do it psychologically. This is the magic. This is why chiropractic's booming. Not chiropractic, but holistic, like zanaptic is holistic chiropractic. That's why we try and get you a little exercise. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. See, let's get them moving. Come on now. You can't sit at a computer. It's fun. And I'm sure you're into Netflix and all that. Netflix, you know, has got fantastic documentaries, by the way. Fantastic documentaries. Food Matters. Who's seen that? Wow, you guys have got to do it. Write it down. Food Matters. You got to see the stuff. Now, we've got a few posters. That's our home. I don't know. If we're going to build more bombs, great. You know, let's blow a few people up. America, the land of the peace and the home and all this stuff and peace, brother, and love and the home. And build bombs, damn it. We're going to blow some suckers up. But what happened to the peace? I'm from Africa, bro. What happened? It's drugs. Drugs. We're going to kill all the drug people. Dude, it's supply and demand. Are you kidding me? Americans want the drugs. Why don't we find out why they want the drugs? I'll tell you why they want the drugs. Because they are minerally deficient. And if you start to feed the minerals, the trace minerals, which you know nothing about. So here's, a, here's a, uh, one thing you should learn tonight. Uh, salt. Good or bad? Salt. Yeah. Fantastic. It's, it's great for you. Your body can't. You can't. You can't survive. My nephew. Your nephew, no, my, no, my uncle, my it's second enough, cousin. He was in the hospital for not having enough salt. Enough salt. The book's called Salt Your Way to Health. The doctors are now saying, hey, that's salt. Now it's got to be unrefined. See, unrefined is the key word. You take a little pinch and you suck on it under the gums. You suck on it. And you know what? It actually tastes sweet in the end. And you but take a little bit before you sleep at night. Anybody here, insomnia, anybody can't sleep? Raise your hands. Take a little pinch, a little quarter teaspoon of salt. Boom. <laughs> She's sleeping. <laughs> Unbelievable. You got it. Unrefined. Unrefined. Sea salt. Celtic sea salt. Everybody should take a pinch, especially our children, all this ADHD and all this, because they're minerally deficient. They're all minerally deficient. You do understand that. These micro minerals that are so essential to life. That's why if you take this Corella and you take 10 in the evening and 10 in the morning, your bowels start to move in regulation. They want to move. They, it's called circadian rhythms. There are rhythms to life. If you've got to run to the bathroom all the time, uh, you're out of rhythm. So frequent urination. Oh, that's, that's not the problem with the bladder. It's a problem with the kidneys because the kidney and the bladder are brothers and sisters. So you look at the kidneys and you feed somebody who has got frequent urination, you feed them tea at night. You take a cup of tea with a little mushroom and a little goji berry and you are good to go.